We're back and joining me in the studio today, I've got Nathan Hellenbrand from the Communications Department and I've got Dan Philgreen here in, from Shell Point TV. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about some of the activities before we get into the segments. Uh, first off, we want to remind everybody that bingo is going to be going on this afternoon in the Social Center at 1.15. And of course, that's always a lot of fun. Uh, so if anybody is interested in playing bingo, I suggest that you go to the Social Center at 1.15. They're going to have prizes and refreshments and uh, just a fun, friendly competition uh, playing that game. So that's happening this afternoon. But also, we've got some fun activities uh, planned for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's talk a little bit about those. Now, one of the reasons that Nathan is here is a lot of folks don't know, but he has a background. His, his role here at Shell Point is digital media specialist. That's right. And he works in the communications department. He does a lot of programming for our website and things like that. But uh, he's going to talk a little bit about an activity that Resident Life is doing that's related to computers. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow there will be a meeting for uh, Computer Club. And this will be hosted by Mike Peterson, who is with the uh, Computer Medics of Southwest Florida. He's actually been doing these classes for 17 years at wow. Shell Point. Mm. And he's going to give a very fun-filled presentation with PowerPoint and uh, give a little brief history over the history of uh, computers. So that'll be fun. That's great. So he's going to be the speaker at their regular meeting. Mm -hmm. Now, where is that being held? In the Manatee Room on the island, and it's going to be at 2.15. He also welcomes general questions, too. So. You know, if you have any questions about the history of computers, do bring them up. Okay, well, that'd be great. And Dan, there's also a concert coming yeah, up. Yeah, great concert tomorrow. Uh, it's the uh, the Bay Singers, mm -hmm. and the Bay Singers go back actually in 1998. Our own resident Dave McJoin was living at Bonita Bay at the time, and he founded this group, choral group. And it was a small group at the time, but over the years, it's grown. They have 70 members. Oh. They they do their programming all over Southwest Florida. Uh, they do show tunes, they do standards, they do uh, all kinds of American classics, spirituals, patriotic music, uh, and they are gonna be doing a whole new program. They call it the American Standards. It's gonna have uh, tunes by George Gershwin, Irving Berlin, Aaron Copeland, and many more. And it's interesting, I didn't know this, but uh, a woman named Cynthia Dallas is the the key uh, primary keyboard player for the Naples Phil, and she is the director of the group. Wow! So that's some top-flight direction, and you know I've heard them uh, a, a while back. Heard them do a concert. If anybody's heard them, you know they do a dynamic program. It's very, very brilliant and loud and energetic. Mm -hmm. well, so when you get that many trained voices and everybody yeah, is working together it's, it's and they've great. been practicing and the of course the material that they're doing sure. is top notch. Everybody's so everybody's gonna enjoy that. Well yeah. that's tomorrow at seven fifteen at the Village Church. It's going to be a great program. Great. So the Bay Singers at uh, 715 in the Village Church on Thursday. And we do appreciate when a resident like Dave uh, has that background. Imagine that he founded that group. Yeah. And now he lives here at Shell Point. Right. And so we get to enjoy the fruit mm -hmm. of his labor. That's a, a great program. Um, there are a couple of other things coming up this week that I think we should probably just give a quick nod to. Let's don't forget that Friday is Beach Day. And um, I know a lot of folks who go on that trip regularly. Um, the weather couldn't be more beautiful. Uh, this past couple of months, uh, so I and think. Get ice cream on the way back. Yeah, that's. A, I, I think Bev's told me that's one of their favorite parts of yeah. the trip. But uh, I think that that's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, so folks need to sign up in advance for that. Uh, but that's happening on Friday, and then also uh, Friday is St. Patrick's Day. So first of all, don't forget to wear your green. Right. green. Um, but also, um, we've got a couple of programs that Resident Life has planned that look like a lot of fun. Um, and one of them is in conjunction with the Crystal Dining Room. The Crystal Dining Room is going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day uh, event at lunchtime. They're going to have some Irish singers in there. They're going to be serving a uh, menu that is St. Patrick's Day features like uh, Celtic stew, corned beef and cabbage, all of the things that you would expect for a traditional St. Patrick's Day feast. So that's happening in the Crystal Dining Room between 11 a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m. on Friday. And then Friday night at 6.30, uh, in the Grand Cypress Room, there's going to be a St. Patrick's Day Kellen Celtic Arts Irish Dance Group. I know, Dan, now with your new hip, 
You're oh, probably not go. up for some I'll be, Irish I'll be right stepping. In there. No, I, I, better, I better lay low this maybe, time. Maybe, maybe <laughs> not. But uh, this is a perfect opportunity for folks who enjoy Irish music and Irish dance. Uh, that's going to be in the Grand Cypress Room. And so to get more information about that, they should consult their Shell Point Life magazine and also contact the service desk for any other questions that they might have. But that should be a lot of fun. So don't forget, wear your green on Friday. And uh, go to one of those St. Patrick's Day events. Events. Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope that uh, you'll stay with us. We've got a lot more to come on today's show and uh, just have a great day.